going to talk about how to find sine and cosine. The cosine is defined as the x-coordinates of an angle on the unit circle. And the sine is defined as the y-coordinates of an angle on the unit circle. One way to remember is using alphabetical order. Cosine, then sine, and alphabetical order of x, then y. Cosine, sine, x, then y. So we're going to do a bunch of examples here, and we're going to be using this, our unit circle. So remember, cosine is the x value. So for here, the cosine of 30, so we go to 30 degrees and look at the x value, square root 3 over 2. So we do that square root 3 over 2. That's our answer. That's, that's as simple as it is. So we're just going to do a bunch of different practice ones. Sine of 60, remember sine is y. So the y value at 60 is square root 3 over 2. All right, let's look at 45. We want the y value at 45. That's square root 2 over 2. The cosine of 60. So we're going to look at the cosine of 60. If we look at the cosine of 60, we get 1 half. Sine of 120, remember, that's the y value. So we look at 120. The y value is square root 3 over 2. Cosine at 180 degrees. Remember, that is the x value. The x value at 180 degrees is negative 1. It's all right there. Sine, the y value, for 240. 240, negative square root 3 over 2. Don't forget those negatives because it's wrong if they're not there. The cosine of 225, remember, that's the x value. So at 225, the x value is negative square root 2 over 2. Sine of 270, so I want the y value at 270 degrees, negative 1. Cosine of 90, so that's the x value at 90 degrees, 0. Two more. The y value at 350 degrees, 315 degrees. The y value is negative square root 2 over 2. Cosine of 330, so that's the x value at 330 degrees. The x value is square root 3 over 2. Again, cosine is the x value, sine is the y value. You just have to look at the paper. 